merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's October 4th, 2024 in absolutely gorgeous, beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. This is gonna be another line fire update. I have a feeling these are gonna get less and less as time goes on here, so that's great. Um, I haven't wanted to ask you guys to like or subscribe because of the circumstances. Um, since things are getting better, I don't feel so bad about asking. I do put a lot of effort into this. Um, if you guys notice, I've been doing this for 10 years. Not fires, but about 3,700 videos, and most of them are like 30 minutes or more. Um, and I respond to every comment. Uh, it's very rare that I ever miss anything. So I'd appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe. I'm just gonna take you from the other side of town to go back to get some good good views of the area where the fire is. We're not gonna be able, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see much, but this is what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, by the way, also, because I don't like missing any comments, because you guys are everything, everything to me. I love you guys with everything. Um, if I respond to your comment and you respond to my response, I don't get notified for your your response. So I always suggest um, to continue our, our great conversations, leave me a new comment. It doesn't matter on which video. I'll know it's a continuation of our previous conversation. So um, just wanted to put that out there. Again, I don't want anyone to think that I'm ever ignoring you because I would never, ever, ever do that. You guys have given me hope and a purpose. Um, YouTube doesn't doesn't pay hardly anything, so that's why I still have to do my regular business that I've been doing up here for eight and a half years. Um, you know, that's how the bills get, get, get paid, but I was hoping someday maybe this channel would help, but it doesn't seem like uh, that'll ever be the case, but I'm very, very obsessive compulsive about this channel and uh um yeah so it's it, it's a passion project i love doing this i love communicating with all all of you guys and uh yeah so just uh yeah just know that i'm very very grateful for each and every single one of you and uh, my life is a lot lot better to have you guys in my life so thank you again for everything there's one of the ski resorts or both of them actually so yeah as i said we're gonna pull up here and I will give you the latest information that came out earlier today. We'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody, we're at one of my favorite spots. This is on Stanfield Cutoff. You've got a little school across the way here, but well, we're gonna go down here just to take a nice look at what's going on and give you the update on the line fire. Look at how beautiful everything is here. It just, it's, it just looks fake. Like, it looks like a Hollywood set. It's just perfect. I mean, it really is just perfect. All right, so the latest information we've got here, guys. It's an update from the San Bernardino National Forest. So it came out a few hours ago, October 4th, working through above normal temperatures and occasional wind gusts of up to 20 miles an hour, which, guys, that's not good. Fire crews continue to keep the line fire within its current footprint except for a small five acre growth, which was quickly attacked and lined by crews. Pockets of vegetation, vegetation within the perimeter of the fire generated some fire activity and smoke, but did not threaten existing lines as crews and aircraft worked to minimize the activity. And by the way, I'm pointing exactly where the fire is. You just can't see much smoke right now. It's right behind that hill. Even the growing confidence in the existing lines, crews and dozers worked on building and strengthening contingency lines to the east of the fire. With the good progress over the last few days, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department lifted some evacuation warnings yesterday. Check the Sheriff's Facebook page for future updates. Today's crews will continue to monitor and patrol the north, west, and south sides of the fire and strengthen and improve lines around the remainder of the fire, especially around the small growth yesterday. While helicopters will prioritize supporting firefighters on the ground, some aircraft may help SCE with replacing burned power poles to speed up the restoration of power. And there's gonna be a community meeting at Big Bear Performing Arts Center at 1 p.m. tomorrow, October 5th. The address is 39707 Big Bear Boulevard in Big Bear Lake. 
if anybody is interested. So yeah, guys, I just thought we would uh, go all the way down to the beach right now. That is your line fire update, but I think we're just gonna enjoy some some real real beauty here for for a moment. I know we've got Oktoberfest going on up here, you guys. Highway 18 is open from San Bernardino, so you have to take the whole entire route of Highway 18 to get here. Or if you live in the desert side of things, you take Highway 18 through Lucerne Valley to get here. I really hope a lot of you decide to come up here and, and share your wonderful hearts with us up here. We really need you, and uh, it'd be great to have you here. And when you guys come up here, don't hesitate to hit me up. I try to make a point to at least, at least be able to shake everyone's hand and say thank you for being a part of my life and thank you for being in my life you guys are amazing people and i hope you never ever forget that you guys have saved my life it's a long story but uh i don't know if i'd still be here if it wasn't for this channel and the love that i get here you guys are amazing lifesavers so yeah there's the water dropping helicopter right there let me see if i can zoom in far enough can you see it right there it's got its big bucket down below Yeah, just very grateful. I can never thank the firefighters and everyone involved in the logistical nightmare that it must be to handle these massive fires. Um, each and every single one of you out there, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I know a lot of you are extra humble and just say, well, it's my job and I get paid to do it. But no, this is, this is more than just a job. You have protected this entire community right here. This is, this is, this is a very special place in Southern California. And we have people from all over the world who watch this channel. It's a fantastic place to be. Um, I mean, I have a lot of people all over the world and they know of little Big Bear, California. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much, firefighters. You guys are absolutely crushing this thing. I know it's not easy. I know it, it takes time, um, you know, but I, I am forever, forever grateful. I mean, I don't know if I'd be able to survive if I had to move back down the mountain because I've gotten so used to the peaceful nature up here and, uh, you know, not as crazy as it is down there. For those of you who don't know, I'm from Newport Beach, California, um, born and raised there. And uh, I've lived in Big Bear since May 1st, 2015. And it's been, it, it was scary at first because I don't have any family within about a hundred miles, but um, you know, this town really adopted me and treated me with love and respect. And I created this channel out of being really depressed all the time. The fact that I lost my dad a month ago and a month and two days ago, it's uh, life's been a real struggle uh, since then. Uh, I just can't focus, I can't maintain any type of uh, happy mood. Um, but you guys bring me the most joy I can possibly ever get. Um, but yeah, this is a special place. Again, I really hope all of you do come up here sometime and uh, share in this beautiful, beautiful experience. You know, get away from the rat race and the concrete jungle for a while and just treat yourselves. You guys deserve it. You guys, every single one of you, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to give yourself a break. And rejuvenating is so important in life. And you guys are so important. So anyway, yeah, just a spectacular day today again. The sky is so blue and so pretty. Again, last but not least, uh, I think this is all gonna be over, hopefully pretty soon. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, once they're like at 90 plus percent, we'll probably stop doing these daily updates. There's not going to be any point. I don't want to waste your time. You guys are busy. You guys have lives. I'm just very grateful that you're here. Once again, subscribe for me. Hit the like button. Um, I don't want to be like, I don't want you to be giving me charity by hitting the like and subscribe button. I want to feel that I've earned it. And I know I work my butt off on, on, on this channel. And for those of you who don't know, I run another business up here and I'm working at least 60 hours every single week for eight and a half years. 
Um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm putting in a lot of effort out there. And uh, so I just really hope that the folks who do subscribe, subscribe because you feel that I've earned it. And thank you. And once again, have a freaking awesome rest of your day, you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Come enjoy Oktoberfest. Um, we love you all. And without you guys, this town does not exist. And without the firefighters, it physically does not exist. You guys support this economy up here. It's, it, it's, it's all tourism. That's it. It's all tourism up here. We need every single one of you to come up here, take a load off, spend a few bucks, and enjoy your lives. Um, so thank you guys for allowing me to live here. And that'll be it. I love you all very much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and a great weekend like I already said. And I will talk to you all later. Peace out.